Or let's get to an email we got from Ron. He says my phone alerted me to at least five earthquakes six to seven miles off the coast in the last 11 hours, ranging from 3.5 to 5.5. Any chance you can find one of your experts to comment? Now, I do want to know, we got that email last night. Since then, we've had several more earthquakes. The big number everyone's reporting is 50 in the last 24 hours, more than 50. So here's one of those experts that you asked for, Ron. This is Chief Meteorologist Matt Safino. I mean, the big question, is this something that we should be worried about? No, and I'll show you why, Good. too, because these happen all the time out there. Okay. It's really quite amazing how frequently they are. So here's a map showing you where something called hydrophones are. What those are, those are used to measure earthquakes that happen under the ocean or under the seafloor. It's pretty interesting technology because when an earthquake happens on the seafloor, that seismic wave gets converted into an acoustic wave. So these things are literally like microphones hanging down in the ocean that pick up the sound, and you can actually hear them, they've been recorded, pick up the sound of an earthquake and the seismic waves that come along. And so there's a network of these, and because those waves are super low frequency, they travel really long distances, so these are really efficient at picking up underwater or undersea Earthquakes. Now, seismometers on the land can also pick them up too, but not quite as good if they're out there way offshore. So this is how they are detected, first of all. And here's another graphic explaining what I just said. Seismic wave, earthquake sends out that seismic wave. It hits the water. It gets converted into what's called a T or a tertiary wave, which is basically an acoustic wave. And there's that hydrophone just hanging down there. It's moored to the seafloor, picks that up. That data gets relayed and we know, hey, there was an earthquake because the hydrophone just picked that up. It's pretty amazing. Now, here's why you don't need to worry about it. I know this map is a little hard to read, but just think about all these little red dots. Each one of those little red dots is an earthquake that's been picked up by this underwater network of hydrophones from 1995 through 2008, I believe. There's literally thousands of them out there. This is that big fault zone, the Juan de Fuca fault zone that's offshore. The Cascadia subduction zone is closer to shore. And in a way, it's comforting to see that there's way more offshore on that fault zone than there are on the Cascadia subduction zone, which is where we expect the big one to occur. Now, I've also talked to some seismologists and geologists who say, you know what, in a way, this is good because those earthquakes actually relieve pressure along the fault zone here. They're not adding pressure to the Cascadia subduction zone. So, Maggie, again, not something that we really need to worry about uh, because it is really, really common. Okay, good to know. That's actually, that actually soothed me. That didn't stress me out. I'm glad to soothe you. <laughs> That's, That's what we try to do. Okay, well, I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much.